Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Happy Easter to all of you. This is the great feast of the resurrection of our Lord. The foundation of our faith that Jesus Christ suffered, died, and was buried, but on the third day, God raised him from the dead all according to scriptures. This is our faith. This is the source of our life and hope. This is the source of our love for our brothers and sisters. We celebrate this feast with joy, the greatest inner joy ever, and in gratitude to God, for the gift of salvation. And the greatest sign of our gratitude is that we share the same joy of the resurrection with all human beings in our lives, but in our words, but especially in our lives. We pray today in a special way for your intentions and for the intentions of all the members of our diocese at home and abroad, for all the friends and benefactors and benefactresses of our diocese and of our priests and religious. We pray for the intentions of all our friends who follow us on this Eucharistic celebration who join us through the various social media platforms. We pray especially for individuals and families in crisis that the new life we celebrate today may help them to rise from a life of sadness, sin, and crisis to a new life of love, understanding, and serenity. Dear brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God. Almighty God, have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy. Oh Lord, have mercy.
O God, who on this day through your only begotten Son have conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity, grant, we pray, that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your Spirit rise up in the light of life. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter addressed Cornelius and his household. You must have heard about the recent happenings in Judea, about Jesus of Nazareth, and how he began in Galilee after John had been preaching baptism. God had anointed him with the Holy Spirit and with power. And because God was with him, Jesus went about doing good and curing all who has fallen into the power of the devil. Now I and those with me can witness to everything he did throughout the countryside of Judea and in Jerusalem itself. And also to the fact that they killed him by hanging him on a tree. Yet, three days afterwards, God raised him to life and allowed him to be seen, not by the whole people, but only by certain witnesses God has chosen beforehand. Now, we are those witnesses. We have eaten and drunk with him after his resurrection from the dead. And he has ordered us to proclaim this to his people and to tell them that God has anointed him to judge everyone alive or dead. It is to him that all the prophets bear this witness that all who believe in Jesus will have their sins forgiven through his name. The word of the Lord. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. I 
shall live and recall his The builders rejected has become the cornerstone. This is the work of the Lord, and marvel in our eyes. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Colossians. Since you have been brought back to true life with Christ, you must look for the things that are in heaven. Where Christ is living, sitting at God's right hand. Let your thoughts be on heavenly things not on the things that are on earth because you have died and now the life you have is sitting with the Christ in God but when Christ is revealed and he is in your life you too will be revealed in all your glory with him the word of the Lord Ndio tu Christi Bunye no onye jichwa ja Pascal O titoga nke kelono Christi Unwa toro za potari gwa toro ya Onye nwehi njobula Do kwa rana nandi njob Oh, Nando Baramba, now good ye go. As in Kendo, Boye Morango, Natchez Yang Wango. Maria, why ye go no so? Ye link a Christi on ye disindo. O tito nke Jesus in our mobility, I hendi mama na bakebe, a ko liliozu ni chafu na ichiche. Esie Christi bunche kube me bilite go. So kaba galili, Christ is gonna mobilize you. Onye wetere anyendo ahoro, merani ebere, ezenwe meri, onye nachi. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia.
Christi Pascani Aburgo Ye Jirichuaja Kani Rieno Riraho Ni Medi Weno Alelo According to John, On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning while it was still dark and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went and told Simon Peter and the other disciple whom Jesus loved and told them, they have taken the Lord from the tomb and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived at the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there and the clothes that had covered his head, not with the burial clothes, but rolled up in a separate place. Then the other disciples also went in, the one who had arrived at the tomb first, and he saw and believed. For they did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Jesus Christ.
Simon Peter Onyene se nazo biaruru banyeni mili Ohora kozu aho ko usara na ala Yani chafu nkeji kechie yisi I chafu ana kwa chaho adi no tuebe kama apiara ya apia debe yi chenebo zo Wazo zo aho Onye nke buruzo biyaru nili Banye kwara ni mili aho Ohoro Ma kwere kwa Then Peter reached the tomb Simon Peter who was following now came up went right into the tomb saw the linen cloths on the ground and also the cloth that had been over his head this was not with the linen cloths but rolled up in a place by itself then the other disciple who had reached the tomb first also went in he saw and he believed Potito Dirigeso Happy Easter to all of you once again he saw and he believed what did he see And what did he believe? What do you see? What have you seen? And what do you believe? The experience of Mary of Magdala and of the other women and the apostles, especially Peter and John who came to the tomb on the day of the resurrection was very strange indeed. It is difficult to explain the feeling. But let me tell you what it looks like. Now our people have the strange habit of not burying their dead immediately. This habit is neither Christian nor Igbo nor European. One week, two weeks one month, two months, six months. I don't know where it came from. It is strange. But let us tell you what this looks like. No toto bosha ne lius na bakwa. Fada agwa mu unu unu rute no loka no geu makana ya biya me ya hugozi ne ebidoka. All the family, Babu, the entire family will agree. We'll be at the mortuary at 6.30. So that immediately the mortuary is opened, the attendant will give, show us the body of our loved one, and we hurry to Mass. And you have all the clothes. Because your dead one was just covered with a sheet of paper, a sheet of cloth. And then the mortuary attendant opens the door and you find the cloth wrapped quietly and placed on the stretcher and the body of your father or your mother is not there. And you believe. Believe what? Each other is not there. Each other is not there. 
Bore Quandin name of Equandan now, J. Egeme Motuare. A home aqua who knew Jirija Sakwashia J. Kuchi, Mbo Washerinishi, Stretcher, Mozan and Mag. You were querigan. What to the Rijas? When we hear these stories, they seem so simple. And of course, Mary, if you read that chapter and continue, Mary remained at the tomb even when those people had gone back, the apostles had gone back. And don't blame her. The experience of the apostles, the teaching they had was different from the experience of Mary. Mary was a disciple, yes. But she was not as close as the twelve, nor as close as Peter and John and James. She didn't experience the transfiguration. She didn't experience the Garden of Gethsemane. And she probably was not even in the upper room when Jesus was giving his final farewell address. John came first. He couldn't enter. Peter arrived later, entered, and saw that there was no hurry. Mary saw the stone had been rolled over. She didn't see more. John came, couldn't enter. Peter came and entered and called Jibrajinkpa. And he saw everything in order. No hurry. We are not ever told that Mary entered that tomb. John entered, saw what Peter saw. We are not told what was the reaction of Peter. What happened to him after seeing? We do not know. But John saw the empty tomb, the cloth, the linen cloth, the kneeling cloths and the other cloth. He saw them in order and believed. Mary stayed at the mouth of the tomb weeping. In other gospels, the same experience. When she told the apostles they have taken the Lord away and we do not know where they have put him. Eventually, John saw an empty tomb and the clothes and believed. Mary saw Jesus and did not believe. When Jesus appeared to her, as you read for that, Oga Biko, Obrugo Vufuruzie, Guamon Betoria, Menjivuli. I always tell you, you hear love in me, Nenu Miriana and Ivulu Jigba. Look at her offering to go and take the body of Christ alone. When you are in love, you don't count costs. The impossible becomes possible for you. But Jesus on a magnet that level. Now, that empty tomb, those pieces of cloth wrapped neatly and kept on the side are the greatest and most authentic historical proofs of the resurrection of Christ. Historians will always tell you one clear proof of the resurrection is the empty tomb. Now, biar ni liye or halila mawom bili liye agahwegya. Matthew's gospel adds that the those who were kept to watch the tomb saw the empty tomb and went and reported what happened. And they were told to say that 
while they were sleeping, they saw the apostles. While they were sleeping, they saw the apostles coming to carry the body. Because how do you explain that empty tomb? And if the apostles carried the body, where did they take the body to? And there were guards. And this was in Jerusalem. During the Passover. Imagine also Joseph of Arimathea who owned that grave, that tomb. He must have also been informed. The tomb where we buried Jesus is now empty. And you ask yourself, when he was giving up the tomb he has prepared, he had prepared for himself, for Jesus to be buried there, what was he thinking? Some say that Pilate called him because he was a very famous politician. He had access to Pilate. He had access to government. That was why he was the one who went to Pilate to ask him for permission to bury him. He was dead. And when Pilate asked, it was confirmed that he was dead. Go ahead. So he had access. So some say that Pilate called to ask him, Sir, I hear that you gave your tomb, personal tomb, which costs you a lot of money to prepare to that man, that criminal, to be buried. How come? And the statement says, Joseph of Arimathea answered him, Well, sir, it's only for the weekend, because after a few days he will rise. It's not true. It cannot be true. Because even Joseph himself, if the immediate ex witnesses of his life, his closest friends, didn't believe it would happen, how much less would Joseph of Arimathea have believed? And even if he expected him then to arise again, I am certain he would then not have the courage to be buried there again. So the empty tomb. After some years, centuries, even as recent as the year 2000, some people were claiming they had discovered the tomb of Jesus. But it is an empty claim because Jesus was such a popular figure known to government, known to religious leaders, known to the poor, known to his apostles, known to so many people that there was no way his body could just have disappeared into nothingness. The greatest historical proof of the resurrection is the empty tomb. Mark it. Empty tomb. They came for the body and they didn't find it. That was a negative, difficult negative experience. But it was a sign of a greater life, of a new life. Not every negative experience is an evil thing. Some negative experiences are introductions to greater things. Some. Just like you see the empty place where the hen used to stay and the shells of the egg but you don't see your hen anymore and you so don't see the eggs that is negative in itself but it is a sign of new life some of the negative experiences you may be having now we are having now or may have had in the past may be beginnings of new life are you seeing anything are you believing what did john believe after having seen that empty tomb and the clothes first letter of john 
chapter 1 from verse 1 to 3 will tell you the word that was there in the beginning what we have seen what we have heard what we have touched that is what we testify that is what we are telling you about and that is what we are writing to you about so that your joy and our joy may be complete what exactly did John believe Peter it is only now while addressing Cornelius but even then on the morning of Pentecost Peter said exactly what he believed Peter told Cornelius you must have heard and Cornelius was not a Jew but he must have heard and it was heard by everybody you know when Jesus met the disciples on the way to Emmaus and asked them what are you talking about are you the only stranger who hasn't heard you must have heard and now let us tell you whatever you may have heard about this man who was anointed by God with the Holy Spirit and with power he hear no lie about him let us tell you the source he was not just an ordinary man he was anointed by God with the Holy Spirit and power you must have heard that he went about doing good so many people go about doing good there have been so many good persons in the history of humanity good good in your own way you are also good but that is not just Jesus was not just a good man but he was curing all who was fall, had fallen in the power of the devil that was special but it wasn't the only thing and he says we saw these things so we are witnesses to everything he did but apart from everything he did what he taught all the things he said now you must have heard also that the Jews killed him in Jerusalem by hanging him on the tree but three days afterwards God raised him to life that is what he be John believed kedie John no kwere ka oforo oworo no nya ha na eso na akizire han kizina roru ibube di chiche ne igboru han pa di chiche no nya na igburu ekpo di eno be elie ye mana ka mpuru na mboshi nke eto chuku kuriteri ozo no nwu that was what John believed and he said we are witnesses now second step you remember the first one the empty tomb is the clearest historical proof of the resurrection historical but the clearest and most convincing overall proof of the resurrection but the life of the apostles after the resurrection ini elire jesu ejero on the third day ga hwe gozie na egoshi no shino nwubile maka na oburu no nweri ihe merozie na aka ma by now aka ma a few days after mane ihe ka egoshi uwa na jesu kuliter na onwezie bo ndo nda apostle and all those who believe in christ we are witnesses to this and onwe ihe ma do nwere ki ma anyi ka isi na anya ma gi anyi mara mo na anya hudu gi anyi hudu the life 
of a believer is the clearest proof of the experience of the risen Lord. Because if you experience the risen Lord, your life changes. It happened to Paul. It happened to Augustine. It may have happened to you. If it hasn't, it can. Baptism. No kukwe. Ondo na abango. Onye negre ganya. Gegre nti no kugu. Ne nanya no mumegi. Anaga address. Mi kwenye rezo ku. Na jesu shinongu bilie. And when they say. How can you prove that God. Jesus really rose from the dead. I say. Watch this man's life. Watch this woman's life. His life. Her life. Shows that that experience of the risen Lord is real. John saw an empty tomb and believed not only that Jesus rose, but all the other things he had taught them. And from that moment onwards, he used his life as a witness. This is our vocation. This is our Easter. Oba guru na ye na sine jesu shinongu bilie. Mo unwe gi hekba ngoru nendo ay. Na nyi kweru. Na jesu shinongu bilie. Mo unwe gi hekba ngoru nendo ay. Oba runi kweru zoku na jesu emeriko ngu meri enjo. Megan, I have a name, baptism. No, be name, make a macanina, not out of no barrier. You have seen him, you have experienced him, he has touched your life. Now, what do you believe, and how can others see what you believe? He saw and he believed. Do you yourself believe? On the credo on the choir nekwe, arranged by Jude Nam. Do you believe? Behind us, yes, I believe. What do you really say you believe? And if you really say you believe, how does one see it? Some critics of Christianity will always cite the life of Christians. If really we believe what we say we believe, it should be visible in our lives. All of us have experienced brokenness. All of us have fallen at some point or another. All of us have had moral problems, material problems, social problems. But in him, new life is possible. Because he is risen, we can also raise. Because he lives, you remember that song, I can see tomorrow, I will see tomorrow. We now say that Nigeria is collapsing. Nigeria is crumbling. Nigeria is breaking up. Almost total breakdown of law and order. Crumbling economy. Lack of security. Nigeria, nada, 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 nada. I'm a mother, woman, a valley, or Canada. Because sometimes we think the, the country, we have come the lowest and we must now start rising, but we keep falling. If anybody had told us two, three years ago 
that we would be where we are now, nobody would have believed it. But here we are. Can Nigeria ever rise again to new life? I know as Christians who have hope, we will shout yes. When? Only when Nigerians change. Only when Nigerians, especially Nigerian Christians, are converted and begin to show in their life that they are now one with Christ who has risen from the dead. So long as we remain the old self, Nigeria will only get worse. But if Christians begin a new life of conversion, of forgiveness, saying no to corruption, greed, violence, revenge, then a new Nigeria will be born. John saw and believed. What did he see? An empty tomb and the cloths. What did he believe? That indeed the Lord is risen. How did he show it? By his life of witness. You have seen the Lord. You have experienced him. What do you now believe? Do you believe that he is risen? If you believe that he is risen, is your life showing it through your own witness? Do you believe? Do you believe? believe. Oh, yes, I believe. Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Do you believe? Yeah. Uh -huh.
dear friends, by the grace of his resurrection, our Lord Jesus Christ conquered death and banished the darkness of sin. Let us pray that God may grant us his help to be able to show the world that we believe that Jesus is truly risen. For the ministers of the church, that by bearing courageous witness to the risen Lord, they may be messengers of hope to the world. We pray, O oh Lord. For political leaders, that through the policies that, that they make, they may strive to guarantee respect for human life from conception to its natural end. We pray, O oh Lord. For those going through trials, that they may not despair, but trust that the risen Lord is with them, and we bring them out of their tribulations. We pray, O oh Lord. for members of our worshiping community, that we may participate with greater enthusiasm in the proclamation of the gospel of the risen Christ. We pray, O oh Lord. For the dead, especially those of our parish community and family members, that they may find eternal rest with the Lord, we pray, O oh Lord. We pray in silence for our private intentions. God our Father, by the death and resurrection of your Son, you freed us from the slavery of sin. May the light of your risen Son dispel the darkness of our lives and grant that we, through the witnessing of our life, may lead others to believe that Christ is indeed risen from the dead, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen.
pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Exultant with paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Up your heart. We can to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation. At all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Pascal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as the acclaim. created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, 
so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, o Lord, we humbly implore you, by the same Spirit, graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take thus all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Your holy death, O Lord, we remember. Amen. Your blessed resurrection we proclaim. Amen. Your coming in glory we await. Amen. celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you willed to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your son and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and with blessed Joseph and spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, and with all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, O Lord, advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis, our Pope, and Godfrey, our Bishop, the other our bishops, all the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters and to all who we are pleasing to you are their passing from this life. Give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, 
in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who say to your apostles, Peace, I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who we'll live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb.
prayer before Holy Communion, prayer for help. Oh God, help me to make a good communion. Mary, my dearest mother, pray to Jesus for me. My dear angel guardian, lead me to the altar of God. Act of it, O oh God, because you have said it, I believe that I shall receive the sacred body of Jesus Christ to eat and his precious blood to drink. My God, I believe this with all my heart. Act of humility, my God. I confess that I am a poor sinner. I am not worthy to receive the body and blood of Jesus on account of my sins. Lord, I am not worthy to receive you under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of sorrow, my God. I detest all the sins of my life. I am sorry for them because they have offended you, my God. You are so good. I resolve never to commit sin anymore. My good God, pity me. Have mercy on me. Forgive me. Act of adoration. O oh, Jesus, great God, present on the altar, I bow down before you. I adore you. Act of love and desire. Jesus, I love you. I desire with all my heart to receive you. Jesus, come into my soul and give me your flesh to eat and your blood to drink. Give me your whole self, body, blood, soul, and divinity that I may live forever with you. Amen.
Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment thine. O Sacrament most holy, O Sacrament Divine, all praise and all thanksgiving be every moment done. Let us pray. May the grace of this Paschal Sacrament abound in our minds, we pray, O Lord, and make those we have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts, through Christ our Lord. Ihe flyers ekeranyi ogaine bido lent bo cards my lenten sacrifice and commitment afu find na to nwan no ge lent ni hain tatara na afu ain chori ji we tinye ni he je fe chuku o fo de wo chite go ka de nke he na ego mu fo de wo chite be ge o nweri he de bere ba ha na eje enye onyinye obu ni ji nke ge ipia ji ye ti ego ni abi atinye ma obu ni we chite be ge bido kitanga ba ni ru aga na ewe futi embo si uka 
maka na ekpere ka na aga niru otutu ndo ma de ewe chitebe nke ha so saturday na abia bu 6th of april bundu society sendia bundu ga roro na underground church no toto by 7 am abona ha bia nro no toto ha bia za na ngbe by 4 on the legion of mary ga ru na elu sanctuary na ebe side ebe ndu kwe na anu na sacristy the underground church in the saint anthony's guild ga ru na akuka kanri na eru corridors ebe se abanye na underground church in the blue army ga ru na akuka kepe na ebe na agbago na tawa na kwa the corridor na eje na akuku model primary school in the ga ru na second apartment side a in the holy face and a rotary in a chapel led an underground church so when in keha makizache and a is crop ya feature ya and the precious blood garo side b and the gafu maki feature che dozi in keno na kandi bundo saint jew society and the saint teresa society mende garo nka kekpe bundo saint jude's society and the gaza cha the main outside cathedral premises bundo queen of all hearts Mendo Sion, Gaza Chaco, Model Primary School. Last Sunday, nine year second collection, Maka Charity, Nyabundu Mogbenye, Na Parish, Na Mas Lileko, Na Parish, I with a total sum of 268,795 Naira. I need to get when Mr. Diaz by 6 p.m. Mbede. I get my crazy benediction by 5 p.m. I can get you rosary with you do. Oh, God, I'm going to move to the coach. Angelus, I pray that you need to pray. I'm going to go to the video to the table this Sunday. I'm going to pray for you. But I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you. We will be there on Pentecost Sunday. I'm going to pray for you. I'm going to pray for you first Monday. Can you use the key Easter? Oruzo pa Monday, bo 8th of April, na agenwe miti nu zon. Obo na mwa ma cha, ke de cathedral administrator, warendo zon, society no tu di chiche, na parisha, ke he wete dia statement of account, income and expenditures, ha mire no tu ha, bido li, di ye 2021. Nke he ne wete ro, Sin so ge ha batara na ochichi. Ha na go ona go kwa ha ni inventories. Ye li le ndo tu mwege sini ichi ichi. So kwe ni ha ge depute. Go ga ge wete the statement of account. Hone ro te rindu society. Si mwere statue box. Debe che liye na olu koche ma u St. Francis station. Account e gane tinye ba ma konyinye. Ne he kwe shiri weta kaunti ama he wete chebege. Ona ayokwa. This match today be the last day. Sundine mebe ginke ha. Ba anumbo meya. O se isono dugo late. Tata bu joint birthday mass. Makanda amuro no wa match. Mbe na infada bishop uge nyengozi ikpanzo. Una kurebo no uko. Narangozi nke birthday. Ni mizuka. Amadi ni ngwe 12 noon na 6 p.m. Masi sana ngwe daily. Yana confessions. Makana hii ni zumikista. Manamone masi sigana ade kwa kuhusi ade by 6 a.m. Cathedral Station CWO Executives. Gengwe miti na haa mbo shi Thursday 4th of April by 4 p.m. Nebe haa nane mebu miti. Oh, bundu se Mary Zone, CWO. Bundu ga sachu lu koche. Ni mwa mwa epre la, aga banye. Hage dozo che, ebendi nega no me meeting on Saturday. Bu kukweze mas, makande ne. General meeting nende ne, gabo on Saturday, 6th of April. Uzubana basa mwane mas, na podium. Ongwe bugo umuna nyindia. Onye nke mbo bulet, igwe Daniel Obobe. Obonye se Mary Zone. Usore mumo lulozie. Echibu Monday, 1st April. 
na ge nweri ekuriye vijay mas na biye de na enugu road oba road junction opposite prince oil filling station mas ge bido by 5 pm mana acho ke ndi zo ni ebi anu ge by 4 we bido ipe chaplet ni nata condolence levy a ge kukuriye vijay mas na hometown we abo overo on friday 5th of april or age kuma asage jiliozie ne parish ye boss and patrice parish overall on saturday 6th of april by 10 a.m onye nki buabu let joseph asogwa onye st john's mission zone usore mumo liliozie thursday 11th of april age kurie vijim mass na hometown we have a door by 5 p.m kuzie mass age jiliozie Ne parish Ebu St. Paul's Parish e Doba on 12th of April, Friday. Onye nki itobo, nka inkubru makia last Sunday. Bullet Veronica Ukweze. Obo nye St. Kisova Zone. Vijay Masi aga bumwane chiku Tuesday, 2nd of April, by 5 p.m. Kankprobi hana, kankprobi ndini ile kwenu gara aga. Any gay wedding, Oka by Marco Cotua, Nime Octave of this Easter. Again, we on 2nd of April, 3rd of April, 5th of April, 6th of April. Han Chaganabo by 10 o'clock. Berus also on Kagan way on 5th. Bo Friday, and Kagabo 12 noon. So, a way now, yo, undo Queen and daughter servants, and the Na bambo, na run altar, makihe wedding, kaha bambo bianoge, makanenda na baku kwe mechego, ihe ha kwe sirime. Again we go din jubilee celebration, makanda fada any mada no, na dao si sign on Thursday, fourth of April, oge jim mas bido by ten AM. Kaina tiye han e pere. Again we free medical check. Medical health check. Makando Mwanyi Dime on Tuesday by 8 a.m. Nensoka Health Center. Oh, Bundo to Enugu State Minister of Health. Bundo na Chikwaba Makayabo Health Free Medical Health Check. Oh, Bundo to Gangpa Mbosa Hijebeba 8 o'clock in Kototo. Otito Drujoso. Otito the Regis so and happy Easter to all of you. And make a lay the Lily Nyareka no game maester bidon a Pam Sunday Rute Tata Man Catkist no way cathedral administrator on the father altar servers ushers. Practice, especially altar servers, Mary, every ceremony where its own particularity. I thank all of you. I also thank in a special way the choir. On your gain, Tikahe Shirukwe Ukwe Tata, Yasegum Bando Choir, and in the middle like this. On your gain, Juri Yajurong Bada, Oga Shagimi, they have tried. And as you notice, even the keyboard person has run away today on Nogatek. 